What's up everybody, Calvin Bowie of FKN Deliciousness and today we are in Saigon, Vietnam and I'm going to show you guys not only how amazing this city is but how you can get food literally outside your doorstep. There's no need for DoorDash, there's no need for Uber Eats. I'm literally walking across the street from my uh, apartment right now and we are going to go eat uh, <laughs> what is joy I'm, I'm trying to think of the, 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 the right the, the, the right term here um, goat intestines we're gonna go eat goat <laughs> we're gonna go why does that sound so weird when I say that we're gonna go eat stuffed goat intestines right across the street from my house and we're gonna do a very uh, unedited unscripted uh, video because I really want to show you guys I mean, Vietnam's amazing. I've been here for 13 years, but my area is really cool because it's such a local area. There's not any uh, Westerners besides myself around. So let's cross the street and then uh, go to this restaurant. That's where we're trying to go to. All right, I'm going to try to run across the street here and not get burned over. Good. This is where we're going. Oh well, yeah. And let's go inside. Right, that was pretty exciting. We are here for one dish and one dish only. Uh, although the menu here is quite vast, there's so many great uh, goat dishes. We are going to go here for one thing now. We should come back for the nine courses of, of goat with friends later on. But right now, I'm here all alone. They have goat ribs. They have roasted goat leg. <laughs> They even have goat testicles. No. <laughs> I will have goat testicles at the time. But today I'm gonna have uh, yoye, which is um, basically intestines. Okay. Anh lấy một cái yoye nha. Okay, yoye nhỏ hơn. Nhỏ. Okay. Lấy một cái tiger beer nha. Okay. Come on. Yeah. You. <laughs> All right. So we're waiting for it to come out. We're having a beer. And then um, they're gonna they're going to mix up a sauce with shrimp paste, lemongrass, and chili, and then uh, we'll wrap it up with some herbs and eat it. And I will tell you guys what this dish is all about. So this is their fermented shrimp paste. It goes on one side. Um, there is sliced chili that goes in next. And this is a sauce that you know you you dip the intestines into. Next comes lemongrass. And then a little bit of lime. Now lime's gonna cut the um, the funkiness of the of the shrimp paste. Right, so I looked on Google to see how do you make this dish so before it comes out. Let's talk to you a little bit about what is in there. So first and foremost, there is goat meat in there. There is intestines of goat. There is no sun. No sun is green, green, it's a green bean. No sun. There's no sun. It's like a green lentil, hanla is white onion, tito is perilla, ngogai is um, culantro. Thank you everybody who sends me the, um, who sends me all the uh, uh, diff, diff definitions, but they send me what the words are in Vietnamese to English, culantro. And then um, spices like salt, 
sugar, MSG, pepper, and fish sauce. So this beautiful dish here is goat intestines. And it's kind of like a blood sausage, if you want to think about it that way. So this is our dipping sauce. And what we'll do now is we will add in all these, um, not all these, but we'll add, we'll add in the lemongrass and the chili. And then we're going to spritz some lime on top. And then we'll mix it up very, very thoroughly. And this is going to be what we dip the intestines in. Now, before we start any meal, we need to crack open a beer. So today we're going to be drinking some Tiger beer. Uh, this is a beer made in Vietnam, but it's actually a Singaporean beer. It is a lager. In Vietnam, we always drink beer with ice. Uh, it is so hot in Vietnam. It is, uh, it's really nice right now because we're in December, but uh, it can get up there. So drinking beer with ice not only keeps the beer super cold, but it also dilutes it. So you get a little bit of, um, get a little bit of uh, hydration when you drink. So in Vietnam, they always say mot hai ba yo, which is one, two, three, all in. So to you guys. Oh. All right, so like I said, this is literally in front of my house. Let me turn the camera around and show you guys where my apartment's at. You see that over there? That's where I live. This main street is the corridor of how to get in and out of my um, of my area. And you have so many great surprises like this Ye restaurant. Ye is um, is uh, goat in Vietnamese, not easy. Right, so no more beer. That was a bad joke. I'm so sorry. So these are. God, I don't know what these, these leaves are. This is an herb. On one side, it's kind of furry and purplish. On the other side is smooth, almost like vinyl. I wish I knew what this, what this was called. Okay, round it, thank you. Round it, thank you. Round you. Oh, round you. Lama. 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 Bơ như là trái bơ hả? Ná bơ hả? Ná bơ hả? Ná bơ hả? Ná bơ hả? Sorry, you have to hear me speak Vietnamese there. Uh, mơ is actually a dream. And so, uh, I can't imagine calling this a dream herb, but uh, we'll call it a lá ná mơ. <laughs> My Vietnamese is so bad. All right, when you look inside of here, there is um, the goat meat, there is herbs, the perilla leaves, there is blood, um, there's onion, and then there are the uh, seasoning, like fish sauce, um, with fish sauce, salt, sugar, and pepper. All right, so you wrap it up like a little taco. Don't call it a taco. Don't call it a taco. <laughs> but you wrap it up like a, like a little... And then you give it a dip in the fish sauce, lemongrass, lime, and chili mixture, and then you go all in. It's so good. Now, the shrimp paste. It is not for the weak. It is intense. It is strong. It is deep purple in color. Um, yes, the lemongrass does lighten up a little bit. The lime and the acid does cut it, but it is in your face. That, with this really interesting herb and that earthiness from the intestines. This combination makes me happy. 
It makes me extremely happy. It's food like this that us chefs get really wowed about. The outside of, this, of the intestines have been um, grilled off, so it's kind of leathery. The inside's moist. Um, you don't really taste, you don't really taste the goat in here, but you know that it's, it's very different. And that difference is what makes this dish such a epic uh, Vietnamese dish to have. So good. Now you're gonna ask me, what if I didn't have intestines? What could I substitute it with? You can't. What if I don't have goat blood? What can I use it instead? You can't. This is one of those dishes that come to Vietnam and eat only because it's it's such an experience. And this plate is only five dollars. The beer is a dollar. The um, the yoye is five dollars. And you're not gonna get this in America. Maybe there's a reason for it. But regardlessly, this is so good. Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. No, don't trust me. I don't know, it's, it's, it's very earthy. It's very minerally from the, from the goat's blood. Um, the, the perilla inside and then this Nemo, this, somebody needs to know what this is in America. But the combination between those two things, it's, it's just amazing. Mm. Goat shops like this are opening up all over Saigon. This is nothing more than a piece of concrete slab um, some steel structure so they can put a sliding roof on top and you get life happening right in front of your face. This is not a, you don't need to have Instagram, you don't need to be a, a, a lifestyle influencer. You, you literally are living lifestyle right in front of you. And there are families with their kids. It's Sunday right now, everybody's just hanging out. You cannot get you cannot get more real than this. Ooh. If it's ever been a dream of yours to come to Southeast Asia, particularly Vietnam, and eat foods that are a little bit outside the norm, outside the ordinary, outside a lot of ordinaries, come to Vietnam, come to Saigon. I'm gonna leave the address right down here where my, my beer is at, and um, check out Rô Yê. Because Rô Yê means Rô Yê, or Rô. Rô Yê means the, 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 um, Rô, it's beard, the beard of the goat. For six dollars all in, this is an experience that you're not gonna get anywhere else. You're not gonna find this on any food websites or Google, there's no Yelp in Vietnam. You just gotta go and try places out. And I think that's really part of uh, why I live here, why Sunny lives here. Because there's always something to eat, there's always something to, something to experience, there's always something to learn. I didn't know what this, la this thing was called. Right now I still don't know what it's called. But uh, in Vietnamese, Nam Ma, um, oh, you know what, I have Google. Why do I Google this right now? And then pick up. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Lama. Ah. La Thuy Đít hả nè? La 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 Mơ Lòng Tít Tít Tươi. Đúng rồi. Đúng rồi. Đúng rồi anh. Cái này nè. La Mơ La Mơ Tươi. À. Nó gọi là La Thuy Đít. La Thuy Đít. À, anh hiểu không? À, thì 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 anh nói bảo không? 
đúng rồi đúng rồi ok đúng rồi thằng người ta hay gọi vui với nhau đó mà công dụng của nó rất là ok Uh, Luckily, that the owner just came by right now and told us what this is. So this is again in Vietnamese. It is called la 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 mo la mo. So it, it, it's um the dream state, right? Mo is to dream. But she also just told me right now this is what they call the farting leaf. La put it put it. Tui means smelly and that means fart. So the The um, the the herb of the smelly fart. You heard it here first. There's no other YouTuber right now who's going to tell you about this dish and this herb, and uh, you learn something new every day. So, uh, go out there, support small businesses. It's places like Roye and, and other places all around Saigon and all around the world that make communities an amazing place. It, it is um, something that I love to support, and I've made my entire life all about supporting small businesses. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, comment if you ever had yoye, which is um, the Vietnamese blood sausage of goats. Um, comment if you ever had la ma, the the farting, the farting, uh, the farting herb, the, the smelly farting herb. Um, and if you did, let me know what you thought about it. If you didn't and you want to try it, um, let me know. And if you're in Vietnam, I'll take you over here and we can try this together. It's, it's, it's such a fun and easy dish to eat. Again, it's uh, a little bit on the dancer side because of the, the, the shrimp paste and then the, that really irony flavor from the uh, goat's blood. But hey, we all got to start somewhere, right? Uh, with that being said, thank you guys for hanging out with me on a Sunday night, eating foods that uh, you probably wouldn't see other YouTubers eat, except for me. Uh, my name is Calvin Bowie, aka Captain Charisma. I'll see you guys later. Time to drink.